YouTube, uh, this is Vargas recording uh, still in Vargas Vault 3.0. Uh, the, the movie room that right now is still a work in progress. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm trying to share with you all the uh, movies I've picked up for the last couple of months. Uh, it's uh, a lot of stuff to talk about and uh, hopefully if I am allowed the chance to let Macabro out, and let him talk about some horror movies because I uh, we have gotten a lot of really cool horror movies. But I need to get everything cleared up and you know so I can pave the way for him. So uh, I'm gonna talk about another batch of movies that I've uh, picked up. Uh, the order of these is shop to hell. <laughs> I I don't know 100% uh, when I got these uh, or the order because I, I I do keep a checklist of movies. Uh, as I buy them, uh, I write them on on the checklist just so I know what I have. And even then, sometimes I've come across movies that I thought I didn't have, and turns out I turns out I do have them. So it's a mess. But <laughs> uh, so the order on this one is up in the air. So, but let's get started. I picked up uh, Pathfinder, the unrated version of uh, this movie. This movie looked interesting. It was like with Vikings. I don't know if it's inspired or based on the um the uh role-playing game because uh, there's Dungeons and Dragons and then there's Pathfinder no idea if someone can let me know if this is based on that I'd appreciate it uh, all I know is based on what I saw in the trailers it's like um you know, Vikings and Vikings and stuff like that but it comes with this really cool slip cover I remember the action being really cool and I saw it on TV, so I, I, I've seen only the uh, theatrical cut. Uh, I don't know how much bloodier the unrated version is. Uh, picked up The Equalizer with Denzel Washington. Um, went to see this one with the wife. And I liked it. It's uh, based on a TV show called The Equalizer. Uh, stars uh, Denzel Washington and Chloe Grace Moretz. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was really cool. Uh, Denzel Washington played a cool character. I uh, had this uh, Russian bad guy that uh, was effective, and I liked it. I, I thought it was pretty cool. There's an Equalizer 2 that I haven't seen, but if I come across it, I, I want to get it, because, you know, I like buying the movies and the sequels. Uh, picked up The Rundown with uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and the guy from American Pie, Stifler. Uh, also has Christopher Walken. Uh, this one was pretty good. It, it's one of The Rock's earlier... I don't remember if this one was before or after Walking Tall. Uh, definitely after The Scorpion King. But uh, I thought it was a pretty cool uh, little adventure movie. This one I picked up because it's it's a classic. Um, doesn't have any special features, unfortunately, which sucks. There's probably a better version that does have special features. But finally tracked down a copy of Last of the Mohicans. With Daniel Day Lewis, the uh, method actor that goes all out when he does his roles, uh, like in Gangs of New York or Lincoln. But this is the director's expanded edition, uh, so it, it, it it's uh, longer and it ha it's uh, like the director's cut. Uh, but yeah, I, I remember seeing the theatrical cut that was that was okay. Uh, but I want to see this one, the director's cut. Uh, picked up Goosebumps. I remember watching Goosebumps. Uh, they would pass it uh, on Fox in my neck of the woods. And I thought it was pretty cool. It was like a, a nice little kids horror show. Um, it had twist endings and everything. It, it, it was okay. But they made a, a movie with Jack Black. And it has some of the characters. The most notable one is the dummy here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, picked up The Three Musketeers. Uh, probably... Well, I've seen, I've seen a, a bunch of three of uh, Musketeers movie, but I picked this one up because uh, it stars, it stars uh, Dracula Untold, stars the Punisher, Warzone, and it has uh, Mila Jovovich. So uh, I also watched this uh, on TV, and I thought it was pretty cool. It also has Orlando Orlando Bloom. That was pretty cool. Lots of action. I think it's it. it I can't. Don't quote me. Well, I'll check it. Duh. <coughs> it is. It is directed by w, Paul W. S. Anderson, the guy that did the Resident Evil movies. So, 
but it's better than Resident Evil, the final chapter. So, uh, pick this one up uh, from Movie Free Bazaar. This is Iron Girl, the ultimate weapon. Uh, these Japanese movies are over the top and crazy, and uh, I love them. <laughs> uh, they're definitely not for everyone. Uh, I think, I don't know if I talked about it or I showed it before, but I vaguely remember that I got Tokyo Gore Police. That one's pretty cool. It's over the top. It's gory. It's insane. Uh, I want to get Ricky O, the story of Ricky O. Uh, but I just, I'm a sucker for these type of, anything Japanese, you know, I, I love. Uh, but this is like insane madness. <laughs> really, really happy I got this one. I got this one through Movie Freak Bazaar's uh, special album. Um, it's a movie I've been trying to track down forever. And it's finally mine, and I'm super happy to have it. It's Ed Wood uh, with the nice metallic case. I don't know if this movie is out of print. I haven't even seen the Blu-ray. I know this thing came out on Blu-ray. I've never come across the DVD. I've never come across the Blu-ray. Um, I've oddly enough come across the VHS, but I haven't bought it because I don't have a VCR. So it's it's the one movie that I've been trying to track down like crazy. Uh... It's uh, directed by Tim Burton. Is it directed by Tim Burton? Yeah, it's directed by Tim Burton. Sorry, Johnny Depp as Ed Wood. Um, Martin Landau as Bella Lugosi. It has Bill Murray. It has Sarah Jessica Parker. It's... it's uh, uh, Man, this is early Tim Burton back when he was good Tim Burton. Because I have not liked any of his recent stuff. Uh, just, he's I think he's lost it. <laughs> he's lost his touch. But this movie, this movie was amazing and i'm super super happy to finally finally add this one to the collection it's amazing it's an amazing movie I, I love it uh pick this one up it's uh safety not guaranteed it's about uh, this guy that puts in a, a wanted ad for an assistant uh for time travel and i am a sucker for time travel movies and i want to check this one out uh picked up uh, forever young with mel gibson you know, love or hate Mel Gibson, especially now that he... Uh, well, he's gotten back on his feet, but for a while there, Mel, Mel Gibson was shunned upon. Um, but this one was pretty cool. It's about this guy that goes into an experimental thing and uh, freezes himself and then wakes up. And it's a man out of time kind of thing. But it has uh, Jamie Lee Curtis with this uh, in this movie. So, But it has a really weird twist that he starts aging really fast. That That made no sense. Uh, picked up the original, well, one of the or many versions of The Great Gatsby, because uh, there's like four of these, but this is the one with uh, Robert Bradford and Mia Farrow. Uh, I have the one with Leonardo DiCaprio, and again, uh, I like getting the original one and or an earlier version, and the remake for comparison reasons. I have not seen this one. Uh, went to see the DiCaprio one on the theaters with the wife. That one had DiCaprio and Toby Toby Maguire. Uh, but I want to check this one out. Uh, picked up Legally Blonde 2. Uh, I have Legally Blonde 1. That one's surprisingly good. When I saw it, I was like, uh, well, this blonde ditzy girl, uh, you know, going to become a lawyer. But it, it was really good. And a lot of people uh, like this one a lot. So I uh, wanted to pick up the second one. It has the pink box and everything. So added that one. Uh, with this one, I've completed uh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection that I, I've been building for my wife. Uh, my wife grew up watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and uh, she loves it. And, you know, I've been trying to build that collection for her. And I finally got the last one we were missing, uh, the complete fourth season in the nice box set with the many discs. Uh, she was super happy when I got this for her because now the collection is complete. And so now she ha uh, she has a complete Friends collection, a complete Buffy collection, and I'm still working on a complete How I Met Your Mother, because she really, really liked that one, and a complete um, Modern Family and Big Bang Theory. Uh, picked up the original Papillon with Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. It's about these two um, guys that are in a really shitty prison. And uh, Steve McQueen wants to get out, and Dustin Hoffman kind of drags along, and he just ruins it for him. Um, yeah, need to get the remake too. 
Uh, to add to my awesome Nick Cage collection, Nick Cage collection, Nicholas Cage collection. Uh, yes, I am much like Yak Chan. I am actively trying to buy uh, and build a Nick, uh, a complete Nick Cage filmography, which is impossible because that man just keeps pumping out movies every month. He makes like three movies, and it's really hard to collect Nick Cage because of that. But any time I see one that I don't own, much like with Jackie Chan, I pick it up. And this is Nicolas Cage in Looking Glass. I have not seen it. So I don't know if it's good. And the other one I picked up is Nicolas Cage in Dying of the Light. But yeah. Uh, I want to get Mandy. Uh, Mandy, was, uh, Mandy and Mom and Dad are two really good recent uh, Nick Cage movies. And I want to see... Uh, Color Out of Space uh, that he did with uh, based on stuff with H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, picked up Pokemon because gotta catch them all. Pokemon uh, Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. There's like a bajillion Pokemon movies and um, yeah, I need to... I, I'm missing like five of them. Uh, picked up Jetsons the movie. I It's been years since I've seen the Jetsons. Uh, many more since I've seen the movie. I remember it not being that good. Uh, I remember watching the Jetsons meet the Flintstones, and I enjoyed the hell out of that one. Uh, but I haven't come across a copy of that. If I ever do, I will buy it. Uh, but this one was it was, was okay. Uh, picked up a couple of sequels. Uh, In the Name of the King 2, Two Worlds. Uh, I think it's... Yep, it's directed by... Yeah, Uwe Boll. Uh, I have the first in, in the name of the king. That one stars Jason Statham, and uh, this one has uh, Dolph Lundgren, but it's based in the in a video game. And yeah, Uwe Boll's not known for making quality movies, but they're enjoyable at least. I I, I get a fun out and a kick out of Alone in the Dark. Uh, this one I didn't even know existed. I'm I'm honest with you. I did not know this was a thing, but uh, there's a Time Cop too. The, the only time come I, I know is the one with, uh, uh, I was going to say Rob Van Dam, uh, with Jean-Claude Van Dam, uh, and this one has the, the guy that was Bruce Lee in the Dragon Story, but the, Time Cop 2, what the hell, I have, oh, obviously I haven't seen this one, I, I need to sit down and watch it, but seriously, Time Cop 2, what the hell, uh, picked up. Uh, the Descent uh, stars the late Luke Perry and uh, Rick Roberts and Michael Dorn. So the Descent looks like a disaster movie. I'm, I'm a sucker for disaster movies. Uh, I still need to get Volcano, uh, which this looks like it's ripping off Volcano. So it might be. I don't know. And the last one is Faster uh, with The Rock. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Uh, so yeah, this this is a, movie, a revenge movie with the rock that he's trying to. Uh, he's been in ten in jail for ten years, and he's trying to get revenge on people that murdered his brother. Uh, the rock is a really solid action star. Um, the rundown I mentioned it was pretty good, but then he did like the the tooth fairy. Which, uh, the game plan. So his career was not off to a good start. The Scorpion King uh, was pretty solid too. Uh, but he's hit his stride uh, with the Fast and the Furious one. Say what you will about the Fast and the Furious movie. At least they're at least up to the seventh one. Uh, I enjoyed those. Then uh, eight was weird, and I didn't get to see uh, Hobbs and Shaw. But that one looked fun because it was Jason Statham and The Rock playing off each other. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how many more rock movies there I want to get. Uh, Skyscraper was looked pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, like always, you know me. I like to recommend the standouts of the collection. There's a lot of stuff I have not seen uh, that I picked up and I need to sit down and watch it. So, uh, But I'm going to go with the ones that I enjoyed the most that I have seen. Ed Wood, it's a, well, freaking amazing movie. And Iron Girl, bloody bloody fun. Uh, I like this one a lot. So those are my two recommendations for this movie haul. Uh, 
I'm going to record one more video right now, and that's going to be a comic book haul that I had here waiting for me. And then um, I'm going to organize these, and then I'm going to record uh, at least two more videos, but that will be um, later on. So you'll see those eventually. But until I see you again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks so much for putting up with my incessant ramblings and my tangents and everything. But until I see you again, uh, this is Vargas in Vargas 3.0 thanking you and see you later. Bye.